Okay, you guys, today I'm going to bring to you just a link. He's my favorite comedian. His name's Theo Vaughn, and he does a really good interviews with people. And this one is a coroner. So I'm just going to play the first part of it, and then I'm going to link it in the description because I don't want to take, you know, his stuff. It's glory. I just want him to, I just want you guys to be aware that this is really super interesting. He breaks some stuff down that blows my mind. And also, he said that, um, what did he say, uh, that the coroner, get this, this blew my mind, that the coroner is the only one that can arrest a sheriff. Did you guys know that? I thought that was wild. I'm like, that's so strange to me. I mean, the cor so the coroner is the only one that can arrest a sheriff. <laughs> I don't know, that just, that made me laugh. I don't know why I laughed out loud on that one. I was just like, What? Okay, anyway, I'm going to get to him playing here for just a second so you can see who I'm talking about. And enjoy, and go go watch his stuff. He, he's, got, he's got another one um, way back that is a mortician. That one's really interesting. He's just got all sorts of different stuff. And he also does, um, just by himself, you know, he you know talks, and then he's, which are, they're all, they're all so good. Like, I swear to God, this guy's, like, one of my saviors, <laughs> literally. Okay, so hold on, let me get this going here. An aqua creamsicle and indigo. Get that and more only at TheoVonStore.com. Today's guest is a, uh, a doctor of death, baby. He's that coroner, and he's that death man. He sits right there on the doorstep of the devil, and when the buzzer rings, he answers it. Uh, he's based out of Lafayette, Louisiana. And um, they got it all going down there, all type of death happening, and he's going to tell us more about it. I'm grateful for his time today. He's 18 years in the profession. Today's guest is Mr. Toby Savoie. Okay, there you guys go. And if you happen to recognize this guy, he, years ago, he was in Road Rules. <laughs> yeah, pretty interesting, huh? There's some pretty funny episodes. You can find clips of it, you know, periodically, but I haven't found any, like, full trailers of it or full things. But anyway, it's still pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to link this in um, this video in the description. And it's, like I said, it's very interesting. I, it won't bore you. Trust me, it will not bore you. In fact, you're going to get some pretty interesting information out of this that that I had no idea. No idea. Um, and this will also pretty much tell you that the coroner, Mabbit, is a bunch of bullha. Yeah, it's a bunch of crapola. Big time. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, well, I'm going to link it in there and you guys enjoy. He's a blast. <laughs> he's, he's, he's off color. So, if you're offended by things, you might not want to watch him, but he's... He makes me laugh all the time, and his his when he's off color and his his um his sense of humor. You have to like know who Theo is in order to totally get him. And for that, it took me actually. I I figured out who he was the first time I heard him on Rogan, and I first time I heard him, I was like, man, I'm going there and watching this guy because he just he was so real, and that's what I needed right then and there. That's right when I found out about my mom and who she was. And uh, so I needed, he literally, when I say savior, he literally, he saved me, man. I am not joking. If it wasn't for Theo, I'm telling you. But um, he, if you watch his stuff from the first, from the beginning, you'll understand who he is. I'm going to give you a little background right now. He was, when he was born, his dad was 70 and his mom was 35. So there's one thing right there. <laughs> Um, he has a problem with intimacy and not because he doesn't want it or like it. It's because he, he didn't learn about it. He didn't know what it was growing up. And so he's had to learn and it scares him. So there's that. And it feels, I feel bad for him. <laughs> that sucks. But he's had, um, issues. He is clean and sober and, uh, been up for several years 
um, and he talks a lot about that. He cries a lot on his cast. He talks openly about things and isn't afraid to um, embarrass himself. Uh, he does a lot of really cool things for people. Anyway, he's just, he's real. That's what I, all I got to say is he's very real. And that's what, what turned me on about him and brought me to his, to, brought me to, to him. And he didn't have a podcast at first. I was just listening to his, um, let's see, his like comedy specials and stuff like that. But he was on Rogan. And as soon as, I'm telling you, he was an instant hit. And he's been doing comedy for a long time, but he just couldn't break through, right? But after he was on the Rogan show, before Rogan went to Nashville, um, and was in L.A., which is where Theo was in L.A., but now Theo's in Nashville also. So uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Rogan's done a lot for people, and I respect that man. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the link in there, and <laughs> Theo won the belt. He's got the belt in his hand for um, best podcast or something like that anyway. That's what he's doing right now. <laughs> that was a funny one, too. Hilarious. He played the part very well. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Man, I, can't, I tell you, I don't know when to shut up, do I? Okay, ta-ta for now.